Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. I should be flashing this up on the screen as I'm talking to you. Welcome. Um, happy catalog launch day. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up just released their brand new mini catalog today that's going to run from January to April 2024. And we also kicked off celebration today, and that's going to run January 4th through the end of February. So there is a lot to talk about. Um, what we're going to do today is walk through the celebration brochure. We're going to walk through the catalog. We're going to talk about things that are new, including the kits collection has two new great I mean, these kits are adorable. Wait until you see them. Um, I'm going to show you that information. So no cards are going to be made in today's video. Um, it's really just about hanging out, talking, and doing our catalog walkthrough. Um, so as you are coming on live, um, be sure to say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Same if you happen to be catching the replay. So right now I am live in my face or on my Facebook page, um, Stamping with Heart. And then I will post the full replay to YouTube after. If you see the little red live button in the upper corner, that means you are here live. And if you do not see that, then that means you're watching the replay. It is 11 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday, January 4th, 2024. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk you through um, a couple of things. Then we'll go ahead and jump into the fabulous celebration brochure and catalog. Um, so let's go ahead and go through that. I'm going to put the information up first. Um, and then if anybody is here live, I'm not seeing... I'm seeing like numbers go up and down. So if anybody is here live, if you can let me know that you can hear me, I would definitely appreciate that. Um, I'll see if I can catch someone when they come back. But let's go through um, just a few things here. So like I said, my name is Melinda Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. You can find more information about the projects that I create and replays and all of that lovely stuff on my blog at stampingwithheart.blogspot.com. Um, you can email me if you have any questions. I really um, love to hear from you. Email is the best way to get in touch with me. If you have questions, I'd be happy to help you answer your questions. Um, and you can reach out at stampingwithheart at gmail.com. And my name is spelled H-A-R-T, so for heart. Um, and then here is what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to be doing a January to April 2024 mini catalog walkthrough um, and celebration brochure walkthrough. And um, soon I'll be taking myself off of the screen and we'll focus um, just on our catalogs here. Now, if you are shopping with me, I want to give you the January host code information. I have them written here on the papers too, but once we get into going through the catalog and everything like that, I'll bring it back up at the end. Um, I have it posted over on my blog. I have it posted on my Facebook page. I'll be sure I get it, the information up on YouTube, but be sure to use this code if you're shopping with me in January. So in addition to getting your celebration rewards, you'll get a free embellishment from me and I'll send that in February. Um, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. The January host code expires on January 30th. Um, and then if you have any questions, just reach out to me, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at these things now. So I have been waiting so long um, to just dive into this catalog and I thought I was going to have my order today and it won't be here today. I was hoping to kind of show you product as I was going through the catalog, but it turns out the order won't be here until tomorrow. Uh, I am starting to see comments. So let me check this out. Hi, Joan. Can you hear me okay? She is shouting out from Washington. How's the weather out your way? 
Um, for anybody who loves to follow the weather, I'm not necessarily um, like up on the weather. I do have the weather app on my phone and I check it. Uh, I'm here in Pennsylvania and my mom, um, who is an avid, I mean, I feel like she should have been a meteorologist. <laughs> She is loves to know about the weather. She's constantly updating me about the weather. Um, and she was telling me today that we're going to get uh, possibly a big storm, a big snowstorm over the weekend. So I haven't looked, but we'll, we'll see. If you guys know about this, you can let me know. Oh, good. She says, yes, I can hear you. And you ha you're having a rainy day, 48 um, it's pretty gray here. We had snow flurries this morning, but nothing, you know, that was laying. So that was good. But Connor just went back to school today. Patrick is back to work today. It is quiet. And I hope they're both having a good day back where they are. I can tell you, I am so thrilled to be here with you. I love catalog launch day. I, every time we have a catalog launch day, I share this with you, but it is absolutely 100% true. I love the energy, the excitement of catalog launch day. I just went live um, and did a live with my team um, right before I came on here, just <laughs> to basically say the same thing, you know, just a happy catalog launch day. This is such a fun day. I love the energy and the excitement from everybody and getting to chat with all of you live as we go through everything um, and see all of the new fun stuff. And I mean, celebration in particular is just one of the best times of year. So it's great to start the new year off this way. Um, I received the loveliest comment from somebody on um, my YouTube video yesterday. Her name is Diane. Diane, if you're watching, hello. Um, she just left me the sweetest message. She's actually in Canada. But she said that, you know, just from watching, you know, from, from me and another demonstrator, you could go see the comment on the video. It was the Meandering Meadow video I just posted um, that she was so inspired and that she just thought that it looked like we were having so much fun that it inspired her to become a demonstrator. And I just found that so touching because when we get into days like this, like when I'm about to get into a catalog walkthrough, I'm always talking about like the details of what we have going on. And I feel like that can get lost. But absolutely, this is one of the most fun parts of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is launching a new catalog, diving into the new products, inspiring people, having fun, capturing that energy. So I was just very touched by that comment. And I just wanted to mention that because I feel like sometimes I don't, when I'm talking about, you know, what it's like if you're a demonstrator or what it's like to join, sometimes I feel like I miss out on describing that element of fun, but she picked that up. And if you can see that, then I feel like I've done a good job. So um, I really, really, I just thought that was such a kind comment. And of course she's in Canada, so she's not joined with me. She's with somebody else, but I just love hearing that. I love hearing that she was so inspired by, you know, me and another demonstrator that she thought this is so much fun. I'm going to join too. I just, I think that that's so cool. So I just want to thank you so much for your comment. I'm so happy that you're loving being a demonstrator. And as I go, you know, getting into celebration and the catalog and all of that, just know that I absolutely adore doing this with you. I'm so happy to be back here live. Um, and we're going to, we're going to jump in. So I'm going to switch down to the table now and we're going to, we're going to dive into this. So grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and let's hang out. And I would love to hear from you. Let me know what your favorites are in the catalog, what you're going to be getting. Um, I really, I'll, I'll be showing you what I'll be getting very soon. Um, Joan is saying Stampin' Up! makes stamping easy with all of the matching products, stamps, ink, DSP, etc. It's so true. Um, I'm a big kits person. I love kits and I feel like sweets are just the larger version of a kit where the designers do so much work. They take so much time and effort into making all of those things effortless for us, like Joan is saying. And you can really see that and feel that in the catalog. And there's just something about, you know, when we're waiting and waiting and waiting until we can open up this catalog with you, um, 
there's there's all of this like pent up energy like we ju we just want to be able to show you and talk about it and see what your favorites are so it's always such a thrill to be able to open the catalog and go through these things with you but we kind we had a lot going on today we have celebration and the new catalog and the new kits from the kits collection which we're going to be talking about so it's going to be a lot of fun okay so let's go down to the table here and before I dive into this, I'm going to do this a little different today. And I'll tell you, at least I think it's different. Um, Joan says she has so many favorites in the catalog. Me too, Joan. Me too. Every catalog, right? And it's like, you're always wondering, well, how are they going to top the last catalog? And then they do. I don't know how they do it. All right. So before we start going into the catalog, I am going to briefly talk about these two new kits that were just released from the kits collection. So let me get these side by side first and we will talk about these two. So I just printed this out from the website really quick um, so that you guys could get a look at this. The reason why I printed these is because these are online only. These actually are not featured in the catalog, but you'll see particularly with this kit, there are items that are in the catalog that would coordinate beautifully with this kit. But even if you're just a kit person or you're just getting started, these are absolutely perfect. So we have the Panda Friends kit and we have the Rock Legend kit. These are both part of something that we call the Kits Collection. You can find this in the online store. Um, they're both $14. They both have eight cards in them, two designs for each. So on this one, you can see what the, you know, the designs are for the cards. On this one, I really just had to point out that we're looking at two different size cards here. It looks like we have a slim line. I, di I didn't look at the official measurements before I jumped on here. Um, so you can check that out in the details. And then we also have this, which I would consider more of like a standard size card. So I thought that was very cool. The minute I saw this kit, I thought of my son. Um, and I'll go into that in just a minute. But these are the item numbers, price point. It's so fabulous. So keep these in mind um, because we don't get a chance to shout these out when we're, you know, going through the catalog. There are so many great things that are available online. So I just encourage you when you're shopping um, to just kind of poke around the website and see. But these things will be featured because they're brand new. So in 2024, Stampin' Up! decided instead of doing one kit collection release every month, they're going to do two. And this is the kickoff of that. So this was really exciting. I love both of these, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get both of these. Um, for anyone who is in any type of a circumstance, um, like my family is, where my son is autistic, this is a very simple kit that I feel like he could do. Meaning um, when we do you know, any type of craft type of work with Connor, or if we have him put cards together, it needs to be a simpler task. Like we need to sort of break down the tasks, make it really easy. And so we don't do stamping with him, but he loves to assemble things almost like a puzzle, right? So I, the minute I saw this, this is very visual. It's very graphic for kids um, in particular, but you know, of course the kids at heart too, like myself. So the minute I saw this one, I thought Connor would love this. This would be so easy to do with him. Um, whenever you're seeing kits that are at a price point like 14, where it's just is so affordable, typically there is not a stamp set in it. But when you go and you're shopping, just check out the details about the kit. These are really clean, simple, easy kits. Great way to get started. Great gift ideas. So I really wanted, I do think in 2024, I'm going to be putting a little bit more of a focus on kids collection because I just absolutely adore what they're doing. Um, Joan says Rock Legend is her number one pick for the sweets that she wants. That's awesome. We're going to get into that, Joan. Um, and you'll see, you'll see what she's talking about and then it's going to match. Okay. So that covers that. And if you have any questions, let me know. Now, I've gone over Paper Pumpkin multiple times, and I'll shout that out just briefly when we're going through the Lavender Suite. Um, but for now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to start with Celebration first. So let me explain um, what the difference these are, just in case you're new here, just in case, you know, you are just sort of, you know, stopping by and thinking what's going on here, or if you're catching the replay. Uh, Stampin' Up! releases right now, they release three catalogs a year. They release two minis and one annual catalog. 
this mini catalog is what I would quote unquote, basically call like our spring catalog. Okay. So this will run from January to April. If, if for whatever reason, a product, you know, happens to be very popular or if it goes on back order, typically those products come back. That's the way that the mini catalogs work. And we'll go into this in just a minute. With the celebration brochure, this one is a little bit different. The celebration brochure is um, only January and February. And these items that I'm about to show you are while supplies last. So if there is something that you want, celebration items are products that you earn when you spend a certain amount. So you can choose any product you want from the mini catalog and purchase it. With the celebration brochure, you don't purchase these items. You choose these as your rewards after you're spending a certain amount. There are three different ways that you can actually earn free product during celebration. And I'll go through that with you. The number one most popular way is shopping. Um, there's also if you're if you want to host and you don't. I know that a lot of people think of this as like a traditional party thing. And yes, that is still a possibility. But if your order, like even if you yourself are putting in an order for, you know, 300, you will get additional host rewards. You'll be considered a host order at that point. Um, and then, of course, we have the joint offer, which I'll go through in just a minute. But I'm going to open up and go through the celebration brochure first for a couple of reasons. Number one, because they're while supplies last and they're likely to be the first to go. So I want to talk about those first. Also, because some of these products coordinate with products in the catalog. And I just want to pair those up and show those to you right away. And then we'll dive into the catalog and look at the suites next. Okay. So just in terms of going through things. So let's go ahead and officially do that. So uh, the very first page of the celebration brochure basically breaks down what I just said. And you can always refer back to this. I'm not going to focus too much on this right now. Just know if you spend um, for every $50 you spend, so increments of 50, 50, 100, 150, 200, you will earn a celebration reward, okay? Hosting, so if you're going to have a higher order, which is not out of the realm of possibility on catalog launch days, you can get additional rewards that way. And if you have questions, you can let me know. We'll get into that in the, later in the catalog. And then we'll also talk a little bit about joining a little bit more towards the back of the brochure. But for now, let's go through the product options that you can earn when you are shopping here um, during celebration, okay? So here, um, there's always like little notes that you're gonna see around the product. And I would say pay attention to those because those matter. But probably the most important thing is the little green circles that tell you what the value is. So for example, if you spend $50, you have this as an option for your reward. So what they're just saying to you is, is this is at the $50 level. If you've spent 50, you can choose this if you want. Okay. So we have a lot of fun things in here. This is the watercolor melon stamp set. Uh, I love, 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 my favorite thing about catalog launches always are all of the different, you know, um, cards that they make and the samples, but this actually coordinates with the modern oval punch. So something to keep in mind, if you have that punch or if you are getting that punch, um, it says you can refer to page 35 and it even gives you the item number if you want to get the punch to go with it. So you can see here it's been punched out. You can see sort of the image of the punch there. So just something to keep in mind. Those are the first things that I start paying attention to when I'm looking at celebration rewards because you can plan, you know, your order shopping that way. The next thing is the Bright Skies Bundle coordinates with this free pack of the um, Sunny Days 12 by 12 designer series paper. So I am gonna go and show you um, what that bundle looks like. So let's see, we're gonna go to page 51. Okay, so this paper right here will coordinate with this bundle, okay? So this stamp set, these dies right here. So these are the things that I feel like, you know, if you get a chance, take a look at them, right? Like see how they coordinate, see if that would work for you as a whole, because when you're looking at this, how cool would it be to match back with this paper? I mean, that's what it's all about. So just wanted to mention that. 
All right. And then on this next page here, I'm going to close. I'm going to do that a couple of times. Um, so we have the another free option, the Flight and Airy 12 by 12 designer series paper is a reward option. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love that paper. Um, and then here we have a, an option for embellishments in our celebration brochure this year. So pool party, five eighth inch crinkle ribbon. That could be a $50 reward. So if you love the pool party ribbon, that's something to keep in mind. Or you can also choose from the cradled in love stamp set at the $50 reward level. All right. And then on this page, we have softly stippled. This is a 12 by 12 paper pack that you can earn at the $50 level. And it says it coordinates with the stippled roses bundle. So we're actually going to go take a look at that. Okay. So this is page 64. Let me do that. 64. Okay. So this paper goes with this bundle. Okay. How absolutely stunning is that artwork? So if you're a floral person like me, I mean, this is just so gorgeous. Um, so I imagine, I haven't seen this paper in person yet. It's on its way. Um, but I imagine it is quite stunning as well. Okay. So if you think about it, all right, the stippled roses bundle is 54. All right. So right there, you're at the $50 reward level. So you could coordinate this paper to go with this bundle. So that's basically the concept there. And that's the one thing that I want to point out that I feel like in past, you know, walkthroughs, I might not have made as clear. Now here we have the opaque faceted gems. This is a reward that you can earn at the $50 level. Um, this might be one of my favorite papers from the celebration. Um, brochure. So let's talk about that too. So here, the most adored, and I feel like this is going to be popular, the most adored 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper, free paper at the $50 reward level. But this also coordinates with a bundle in the catalog. So this is on page 18. So let's take a look. Page 18. Um, I actually got this bundle. This is one of the ones that I am waiting for. My last name is Hart. You know, I have to. All right. So here is, and I mean, this, there's a lot going on on this page, but let's focus up here. So um, here we have the Adoring Hearts bundle. Okay. Right here. Um, and let me see if I can do this any justice at all. Can you see the way? that this is going to coordinate with this. Okay. So let me see if I can. Yeah. Joan is saying absolutely gorgeous paper. I agree. Um, just to get a little bit closer, just so that you can see these sentiments just for you. I love that it's not straight either. It's a little bit curvy. So loved to my Valentine celebrating you. I adore you um with all my heart and then some great imagery but look at how cool the like little hearts and everything that are going to be cut out are i'm very curious about that i really want to you know play with that but that will go with this most adored paper as an option so again this is 53 for this bundle which means you would automatically earn a 50 dollars reward and you could actually choose this coordinating paper if you would want to uh, that's why I wanted to kind of go through this first, because there was a lot of that in this celebration brochure. All right. So for the next one, this is a very, I think, my personal opinion, this is a very, very useful free stamp set that you could get. Also at the $50 reward level. Um, so this is called Heartfelt Hellos. And I love what they give you here. So we have um, dad, we have mom. We have Easter, love, hello, enjoy your day. I mean, that really covers a lot of bases, doesn't it? And then it says it coordinates with the heartfelt hexagon punch. Okay, so here's the punch right here. So if you're purchasing the punch, this is something that would actually work very well with this in terms of the reward. Okay, and then over here on this, I think this is going to be like 
a runaway hit. I mean, if it's not already. Um, so this is also free paper at the $50 reward level. And this is called Trusty Toolbox 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. And it coordinates with the Trusty Tools Bundle on page 56. So let's take a look at that. We're going to go to page 56. This is going to, I think this is going to hit home for so many people. Um, so here we have, look, look at the graphics on that. Do I, do I even have to talk about it? I mean, look at the sample. Look at the sample. This is the card. I can't. I just, I can't with this. Look at this card. So here, um, this will coordinate with this bundle. It's just too good. You know, it's, it's one of the, it's one of those things where the projects are so out of this world. So good. So anyway, that is what the bundle looks like. Look at all of the dies. We're going to have to take a better look at that once we start doing the catalog walkthrough. But again, you purchase this bundle and you can choose that paper as your reward at the $50 level. So, so many fun things going on um, with the celebration brochure. So let me just slide this to the side again. And this is one of my favorites. This is one of my personal favorites. I cannot wait to get this. Um, so this one, uh, these are items, again, that you earn. So this isn't a bundle that you buy, but this is something that you could earn. So uh, Jungle Pals is a stamp set that would be free at the $50 level. I mean, look at these samples. I am, I wish I knew who made them because you just want to reach out to them and be like, thank you. This is just the most inspiring, adorable thing. Um, and now here, they also have coordinating dies. They're called Jungle Pal Dies, but this is a reward at the $100 level. So essentially, if you are placing a $150 order, then you could choose these two items as your rewards. So that's what we mean in terms of being cumulative. So if you're spending $150, then you could potentially choose these things as your rewards. And then, let's see, I don't think there's any notes about coordinating there because they coordinate with each other. Um, this one, this is another one at the hundred dollar reward level and it's a, it's a bundle. So, um, the softly sophisticated bundle, so pretty. Uh, let me see if I can get that a little bit closer just in case anybody wants to read what those are. Uh, hello there. You're in my thoughts and I really appreciate you along with the artwork. Look at how beautiful the pattern is on the embossing folder. And then you can see some of the samples here. And then over here, we have the detailed dogwood. Um, this is 10 cling stamps. This is at the $100 reward level, and it coordinates with the Petal Park Builder Punch. And you can see that's the Builder Punch there. So if you have this or if you're getting this, it will coordinate with this stamp set reward. All right. So here is where we, getting in, we get into details about the joining and the hosting. And I'll just go through this briefly. If you have any questions, let me know. The join offer during celebration is always the best value. Um, and this time they have options. Okay. So they've done this a couple of times where they had options and I love that it gives people, you know, more of a choice. Um, but here's what you would get. Okay, so if you decide that you would like to join during celebration, which is one of the best times of the year to join, you would choose $125 in product and you would only pay $99. You would get free shipping. But in addition to that, you would also get one of these two options. You could either get the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, which is a retail value of $60. There is a 17 by 14 glass mat. There's a silicone mat. And then there's also a cleaning cloth that goes with this. So you would actually get that in addition to whatever products you choose up to 125 in value. So if you're looking at this catalog and you have a list a mile long of what you would like to get, you could put those items in your starter kit. And then you could also get the glass mat um, studio. The other option, if you don't want to do the studio, is you can choose an additional $30 in free product. So the product value would be, I think it's either 185 
for 99 if you choose option one and 155 in value, but you only pay 99 for option two. So if you have any questions about that, let me know and I would be happy to talk to you about that, okay? Uh, now, the next thing is hosting. So again, if you are doing the traditional host party and you have a group of people and you're putting in an order for over 300, you'll get an additional $30 in rewards. Or if you yourself are putting in a $300 order online, you will earn your host rewards. Okay. So if you have any questions about that, you can let me know. But that is the super awesome celebration brochure. I mean, is that like the coolest thing? So let's go ahead through the catalog now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the suites first. Okay. So over here on the side, you can see the table of contents and it's all suites basically. And then we could go through the rest of the catalog. So the reason why I'm going to go through suites first is because again, just like the, um, you know, the celebration, the popularity of the celebration, Typically, if something goes on back order, it tends to be the suite first, because if any part of the suite goes on back order, the whole suite becomes, you know, like you can only order things individually from that point. So let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, Be Mine is on page eight. Okay, so I think in terms of the buzz, you know, when when this when demonstrators first got their hands on the catalog, um, which was back what like almost a month and a half ago, um, I think Be Mine had so much buzz. Every and I didn't mean to. <laughs> I walked into that right. That wasn't intentional, but I, yeah, I I totally walked into that. Um, this one was really popular, so we'll see how this one goes. But you can see. This is the whole suite collection. So what does that mean? It means that this item number right here will actually cover all of the product that you're seeing right here. So all of this would be included in this suite number. Can you purchase these things individually? Absolutely. You do not have to get a suite, but there is a value when you purchase a suite option. And of course, everything is coordinated for you, just like Joan was saying earlier. Um, you just can't get, you can't get over how adorable the samples are. It's so cute. I mean, look at these embellishments. Wait until we get a better look at those. Um, but really, really adorable for the, and we're going to see, um, the stamps better on the next page. So for those of you, just depending on if you are a Valentine's person or you love these themes, um, I know that the bee is very popular, um, in, in terms of like people who collect things and all of that. Bees are very popular imagery. So here we have love you. Um, you're as sweet as honey. That is, that's too good. That's so good. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you no matter what. Be mine. Uh, you'll always be the one for me. And you make my heart buzz. I just think that that is so cute. So you could do a bundle option. You don't have to do the whole suite. Um, or you could do the individual products. Or you could do the suite option. But this is a really fabulous one. Okay, so our next suite that we're going to look at, and then we'll bump back through the catalog, is Forever Love. That's on page 14. So let's go there. And we'll look at that one first. I love the color combinations. And if you're curious about those coordinating color combinations, you'll see that along the bottom here. Um, these catalogs have just a lot of little nuggets of information and helpful tips all throughout in addition to all of the samples, but I, everything about this is me. Um, I love the color combos. I love the themes. I think it is just absolutely so beautiful. So this one is called forever love. Um, the suite number is up here and it would include everything that you're seeing right here on this page. Or of course, if you want those individual numbers, you can find those there. Look at the samples on that. I mean, this alone is just so beautiful to me. I mean, this, this speaks to my vintage heart. Um, okay. And then on this page, we can take a better look at the stamp set. And so you can see uh, forever and always congratulations on your wedding day, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. And then we have some beautiful imagery along with a love you at the bottom. But I think that the real, the thing that's really singing the song is the the dice. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. It's hard to see them here, 
let me see if I can just get a little bit closer with those, but the details and the intricacy on those dies are just going to make your projects. I mean, so beautiful. Okay. Let's take a look at the next suite. Um, perennial lavender. This was my must. This was my must have. So let's go through this 22. Okay. So you know how you're going through a catalog and I mean, you guys can let me know what your opinion is on this. Um, but you're going through a catalog and there's that product that you, you have to have it. You just, you have to have it. Um, hang on one second. I'm having an issue with my battery on my computer. Let me see if I could just fix this real quick. <clears throat> I have this thing holding my cord in <laughs> because of course I do. All right. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I have to do this. Hopefully that, hopefully that's good. So this was my must have. The very first time I paged through the catalog, I just, I knew I was getting this. And this is something that I would categorize as a mega suite or a very large suite because there's actually two bundles that are part of it. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. But the color combination is stunning. I, just so beautiful. Um, let's see. I... I'm going to go over here. So here is our suite number. All right. And that, see, it just keeps going. See, you guys can't see this, but I'm looking at my battery just going on and off, on and off. And we definitely don't want the computer to, you know, go kaput. Let's see. So sorry for the, and of course it's on my favorite suite too, that I'm like having this problem. Hold on. I think if I do this, I just want to try to get this fixed before I move on. I just, it's always something. I came out here so I wouldn't be interrupted with the Wi-Fi, and that seems to be working well, but now I got this problem. There we go. Oh, come on. Just gonna hold it for a second. Okay. So um, with perennial lavender, there are actually two bundles that are part of this suite. Uh, so that is one thing that I wanted to point out right away. We'll take a look on the next two pages here, which will have, you know, more of that detail. Uh, let's see if I can just hold this. No. All right. Well, I'll just have to check back in a minute. Okay. So here um, we have the painted lavender bundle. And then on this page, we have the perennial postage bundle. Now, they both absolutely have fabulous dyes. This one is really more focused on actual lavender, like die cutting out a lot of the imagery that we see here. But look at the perennial postage bundle. So if you haven't already seen these dyes, these look like they are going to be so absolutely versatile and incredible to use. So I really wanted to point that out. But also take a look at the number of sentiments that we're going to get in with this. So, I mean, this is going to cover a lot. So if you're somebody who, when you're shopping, you're really looking for something that's going to, you know, it, it's, it's really going to do a lot of, you know, for all of your card making, I'm trying to think of the right phrase to say, it's like, it's really going to give you a good bang for your buck, that type of thing. Um, we have your Simply Marvelous, Happy Mother's Day, Sending Love and Best Wishes, You Mean the World to Me. I know you will get through this. That to me is one of the most important things that you can say to somebody. Um, I can't thank you enough. Here for you always. Big hugs. You are loved beyond measure. I love that. Um, thank you for your friendship. So I, I think this is just... I, this, this, I think is one of the best bundles I've seen in a while. I absolutely love this. Um, but again, this is all words and then, you know, a lot of our layering dies here. And then for our imagery, 
we have this. So again, I realize they're two separate bundles, but I get why they made that one sweet so that you can have that combination of imagery and words, but on a, you know, literally on a higher level, there's more to it um, with this particular suite. Now, while I'm here, let me also mention, this is the suite that is going to coordinate with the January paper pumpkin kit. So let me just put that information up really quickly while I'm talking about it so that I don't forget. All right, the January paper pumpkin kit, um, you can actually get subscribed to that kit by January 10th, 2024. The kit is going to be called Lovely Lavender. It's a standalone kit. Anything that you make within that kit can be used on its own. But if you like making alternates like I do, just know it's going to coordinate with this. Okay, so just something to mention. The other thing that I want to mention is prepaid codes for paper pumpkin. When you purchase a three, six, or 12 month prepaid code, you qualify for celebration rewards in January and February. So if you know you're going to be getting the next three kits, then that is a great investment. And then you can get your celebration rewards on top of that when you get your paper pumpkin kits. Okay. So um, oh, we're doing sweets right now. We'll come back to that, which I love those pages. Uh, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is lighter than air. So that's on page 32. We're going to do sweets first, sweets first. Okay. All right. So here is lighter than air. And I feel like their entire design is reflected, you know, with what they're saying. Um, sorry. I'm, I really got to get this figured out or I'm going to lose power on this computer. Um, so far that's working. So let's, let's hope that that does. I'm going to try not to touch it. Okay, so lighter than air. Here is our sweet collection. This is everything that's included in that. I think that the stamples on this reminds me of like sherbet. It's just so it's so airy and light and pretty. And I think that anybody who would get a card made with this would just smile immediately because it's such a unique combination and theme. Here is a better look at the stamp set. Look at that. I mean, that is. If you see down here with the dies, I know that this is smaller. We'll go, we'll look at those bundles where it's a little bit larger in the back. But this is so cool. So, so cool. And I love that imagery. I would never in my life get into a hot air balloon. If you have gotten into a hot air balloon, I would love to know, but not, not for me. But it is nice and safe and pretty on a card. So if you love that theme, then this one will be for you. And then um, that was lighter than air. So our next suite is going to be Nature's Sweetness. And that is going to be on page 40. We'll come back to this. Look at how graphic this is. Is that beautiful? Okay. So Nature's Sweetness. Okay. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Take a look at this. Um, so here we have, this is page 41. This is everything that is going to be included in this suite. And again, this is more of that mega mindset that I'm thinking of because we have two bundles in this suite as well. That's not the case with, you know, all of the bundles, I mean, all of the suites, but I do want to point that out when we do see that because that's a lot. That's a lot of imagery. That's a lot of value. Um, and that's a lot of options when you're designing. So the paper looks absolutely stunning. And then we have some really interesting embellishments to go along with this. So a lot of texture, a lot of fun that you can see here with all of the samples that they made. Um, and I feel like it really hits on all of those neutrals themes. Uh, if you're if you are not distinctly floral, right? Maybe you don't want kidsy and cute, right? Maybe you want something right in the middle. And that's what I think this is. Okay. And then over on these two pages, we can get a better look at what we're looking at in terms of the phrasing. Okay, so it says, um, just sending a bit of love your way. So sorry. Um, congratulations. Uh, let's see. There's like a couple of, it looks like images, but it's writing. So nothing specific in terms of a greeting. Um, and then all of that beautiful imagery. And it's more of like plant life. And then here, uh, just a little note to say hello. Thanks for making me smile. 
Today is all about you. Happy birthday. I think that one's beautiful, but I love this. So if you like ephemera, if you are somebody who really likes to get that textured layered feel, um, I'm thinking like scrapbooking, memory keeping, journaling. Uh, you can see here, you know, it has that whole vibe to it. So if you take a look here, it's hard to see, but these are really impressive dies, very detailed. Um, we'll take a look at that closer to the back. And here, here I go again, paging through. I can't even stick to my own rule. Just kidding, sweet. That is on page 48. So let's take a look at that one. This is a cutie. This is really adorable and very, very colorful. Um, I feel like this is one of those where if you are trying to get your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, anything like that, you know, you're trying to get them involved or you're trying to get them started in card making or paper crafting, trying to get them off of their screens, um, getting them to kind of use their creativity and their imagination. I feel like this is absolutely perfect for that. Or if you need to send cards to littles, right? If we need to send cards, to, sometimes we're really making cards for each other, but sometimes we want to have cards on hand for kids or we want to capture something that's a theme for the kid at heart. And so that's what I would describe this suite for. This is everything that comes with it. This is definitely one of the more affordable suites. And then here on the next page, you can see how absolutely cute this is um, with the, you know, the kids playing. Uh, we have the little, um, what would I call that? Like a magician. Let me, let me know what the word that you would think of is. And then it looks like they're actually sailing. So it's your birthday, you sparkle every day, you're amazing. And then here they have this, um, oh gosh, what is that called? We'll see it in the back. It's a really cute little um, gift like holder. And then let's look at the next suite. And that is the rock and roll suite. So this one is Joan's favorite. We're gonna go to page 54. Okay, 54. And look at how graphic and fabulous this is in terms of the graphic design. I mean, somebody had an absolute blast designing this. Either they themselves are musicians or they have people that they love dearly who are musicians and were absolutely inspired. And that to me is what this suite looks like. This suite looks inspired. And just like I was telling you guys before, where if you want to go very simple and you don't want to get into stamping too much, you just want to do a very basic kit, you can start with the Rock Legend kit. If you want to coordinate with Rock Legend and you want to get into stamping or you want to make alternates, then you definitely want to get the Rock and Roll suite, which is just so cool. So here is everything that's included in the rock and roll suite. There is just something about black and white papers, something about the design. I just think it's so cool. Really, really fun embellishments here. You can't get over the samples. It's just so much fun. So I see why this is your favorite, Joan. And then um, let's take a look on the next page. Does it show the stamp set? It does not. They usually have a close-up of the stamps, but I guess we don't have that here. But here they are, okay? So the next one would be, we're getting to the end of our suites here. The last suite we're going to be looking at is Poetic Expressions. So that's on page 60. Okay, I think this one is just so absolutely gorgeous. I actually have this bundle on its way to me too. I, I could not resist. I it is, it is absolutely poetic. It was perfectly named, absolutely perfectly named. I love this color combination. I'll see what you guys think of this color combo. Um, these papers, I can't wait to see these papers in person. But this is everything that's included in this suite. And the real standout to me here, I mean, I love the artwork on the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set, but look at the dies. Oh my goodness. And I am definitely a big die cutting person. And to me, those are very soft, feminine, romantic 
shapes like right here. And then these are a little bit more along the lines of like, they're not just plain, like they do have some really beautiful edging to them, but they could be considered more neutral. They could go on, you know, cards either way. I just, I love that. And then here, if you do want to take a better look at the stamp imagery, look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. And if I haven't mentioned it already, anytime you see these things bolded in white, that means it has a coordinating die to go with it. Um, but here you can see sometimes there are no words and that has special meaning for me, um, you know, because my son is nonverbal and it says, enjoy your day. Uh, where in the world should I, or where in the world would I be without you? And you're in my thoughts today. So very, very thoughtful, expressive sweet in my opinion i mean i feel like you can capture so much between the stamping the die cutting and the way that they've designed this to go together i just think it is so beautiful um, i'm also looking forward to seeing what the champagne iridescent dots look like in person okay and so those i would say are ideal for shakers all right, so those are the suites. Now I'm just gonna briefly kind of go through and we'll point out some things in the catalog. Um, if you have any questions for me, whether or not it's live or in the replay, I'm happy to chat with you about that. So here's what I wanna say about online exclusives. You can kind of see a little bit of what the offering is, but online exclusives is something that Stampin' Up! started last year. They're gonna continue it this year where they will have product that is online only, meaning you would shop and look at that in the online store. It's not in a printed catalog. So if you wanna learn more, they sort of have a page just representing that here in the mini catalog. And I really wanna talk about that because I feel like it doesn't get seen as much as it should. I love the things that they offer. Same with Kit's collection, okay? So again, those are the things that we're talking about right here. Two brand new Kit collection releases today but they have a whole variety of kits that you could choose from the kits collection. And again, that's online. So they have a page representing that in the catalog as well. So I really did want to take a moment to mention that. Okay. So here, just in terms of how charming this, you know, this catalog is. And as we get into new themes, as we're working through, you know, January through April, and we're working our way out of that whole holiday mindset, this is really cute. If you're going to be sending mail, if you love that theme, um, I, I sent so much mail over the holidays and between the catalogs and the cards and everything. And <laughs> this reminded me so much of that. Like when, you know, you just, I feel like we don't have enough physical mail anymore. And so I love that we make cards and we sort of keep that alive. Uh, a little love from me to you. Um, and then there's one that just says mail. Welcome friend. A little note to say, I miss you. Um, sent with love. And then it just goes all the way around. So just really, really cute. And then here um, we have the heartfelt hexagon. You can either do the bundle or just one or the other, but they coordinate. And again, that would coordinate with celebration item. Um, we have hooray for surprises bundle. This one, I love the fonts on these. And you guys can let me know what you think about that. We just talked about that suite. So we'll go on from this. This I, it really, this is on my list. I haven't gotten it yet, but the delicate forest bundle is definitely speaking to me. I don't know about you, but I think it's absolutely fabulous. Okay. And then we'll just keep it moving. Hopefully. And I might try. Yes. My, 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 um, computer is finally charging. All right. So here we have the adoring hearts bundle, which we just talked about. And then down here we have Thoughtful Moments, which is a hybrid embossing folder. And we also have the Stampin' Brayer, okay? So this is definitely something to note that they brought the Brayer back. Um, this is going to be very cool to work with. So we'll get into using this tool, not today, but this is one of those things that I think is going to be so much fun as we go through this catalog. 
All right, and then we have um, Hills of Tuscany, and you can see the way that they've built some of those scenes in the samples. Uh, wild Ferns, I think that the Wild Ferns bundle is just stunning, and you can see the dyes. We'll take a better look at those in the back, but you can get a feel here looking at the stamps as well. It's getting pretty gray outside. Let me see if I can move this light a little bit closer. So we have You Are Greatly Appreciated, Wishing you well today, tomorrow, and every day that follows. I love that one. Here's to new beginnings, which how, how um, appropriate is that for the new year and the new catalog? Thank you. And then, of course, heartfelt condolences, which that's a hard one to make cards for, but important to have. And then there's our perennial lavender. I just, I cannot wait to get my hands on that. All right. And then here we have the Easter Lilies bundle. This is going to be a must for me. Um, and we also have the Excellent Eggs bundle. And this is also going to be a must for me. And for anybody uh, who is a paper pumpkin fan, the February kit is going to have spring and Easter themes. So keep Keep that in mind. I would I would get these sooner rather than later. That is my opinion on that because, you know, crafters craft ahead of the season. All right. And then we have the um, everyday details. I think this is so beautiful. Uh, this reminds me of a paper pumpkin kit from a few years ago. Very similar image, but these are a little bit different. Um, and then, of course, we have one year we had something blueberry and I went absolutely crazy with it. And when I saw this, I just I felt exactly the same way. I was like, I would I would love getting these cards or making these cards um, blueberry bunches. And we pick blueberries every year. So for the scrapbookers, the memory keepers, this is also going to be awesome. If you grow blueberries, if you go, you know, have a tradition of going and picking them at a farm or making certain things, if you're a baker and you're known for something blueberry. Uh, and continuing the baker theme, here is Cake Fancy. I think we're going to see a lot of really cool stuff with this. Um, I haven't gotten this yet, but I love the imagery that they created with it. And then here we have the Flower Cart Bundle. And this one has a lot going on here. Um, this one actually has 15 dies to it, 16 stamps. So it's, there's a lot going on and it looks like a builder set, which I really enjoy builder sets where you can create your scene and customize. So that's cool. We just went through that. I love this one filled with happiness. I, I, I just, there is so much to be said about the person who designed this. I mean, the font, the design, the layout that it goes with that punch is so cool love everything about that. It's so, it just jumps at you. Like I just, there's so much to be said when you can see, I mean, that, that looks, that doesn't even look stamped. That looks like it was professionally printed somewhere. Okay. And this one looks like it's a million dollar achiever um, inspired stamp set called love this moment. Let me see if I can see the name. Alexandra Grape is the name. Um, and then Stampin' Up! has the disclaimer that less than 1% of demonstrators achieve that milestone. Um, but when they do actually achieve that milestone, they get to sort of inspire a design for a stamp set. And that's what that is. Here is the ice cream swirl bundle. Um, this one, I think, is already taking, you know, taking off in terms of its adorableness. This actually makes an actual ice cream cone shaped card. It doesn't really get any cuter than that, but there's a lot of options and ice cream squirrel combos that you can make with this. So you could go crazy with that. So cute. And again, very visual. Okay. And then this is a mix and mask. I was very curious about this, but I didn't get this one yet. I actually love like stenciling and masking. I love masking paper. I love builder masks like this. I just, it's like a fun tool to play with. Um, so I'll have to get into that a little bit more later, but if you want to know anything about that mix and mask, I would say check out page 38. Um, and then you can see sort of some of the work that they've done over here with the different combos. And then, see. yeah, I, I think I am going to have to check that out. All right. So page 44, more than memories. So here it looks like we have a card and envelope pack. 
looks like there might be more than one. So we have sweet thoughts, memories, and more sweet thoughts, memories, and more cards and envelopes, and then card pack. So there are two different options there. And then here we have let's chat. Look at this old school phone. That's cute. All right. And then here, oh my gosh. So um, my team member, Teresa, she also has a YouTube channel and she did something so awesome with this background stamp. This is the doggone friendly. Um, it's like a, a, a gigantic stamp takes up the whole page. And then this is what they did when they sort of pulled some of the images and just made it into a tag for a little gift for a pet. I mean, it, it doesn't get any cuter. Than, it's so adorable. But they're shouting out the brayer because you can run the brayer over your ink and then ink up a very large, um, you know, stamp like this size very easily. Um, think in terms of like the old school, like printing press, the way that they used to ink things. It's it's like that with the brayer. So that's like a real throwback. And then um, Planted Paradise, this looks very cool. Definitely not really my style personally, but I have seen so many amazing things be made with stamps like this. Now, one thing that I feel like really got lost in this catalog is the mini alphabet dies. How often do we need alphabet dies? I mean, come on. So this is one of those things that I did want to um, point out. Oh, Patricia is saying, the dogs are her favorite. It, it is the cutest thing. The person who drew this had to have so much fun making that because it just sings when you look at it. It's just the, whether or not you leave it or you take these little characters out, you know, the little dogs out and turn it into something. But here you can kind of get a little bit of look at those dies. So when we do want to customize like they did here for the pup, you know, these are so essential. So I just wanted to point those out, like make that bigger. <laughs> That's my opinion on that one. Okay. And then we went through that suite and then here, um, we went through that. Okay. Oh, we did, we did cover this one because this is the one that coordinates with celebration paper. This is cute. This is, this is so Connor. Um, so submarine life bundle and exactly what's happening to my brain. I'm sure it happens to all of you too. When you see those things that just absolutely remind you of someone and you want to make it for them because you know that they love, you know, whatever the theme is and Connor loves everything underwater. So I think I have bought just about every forest bundle and every ocean bundle that I could ever have bought from Stampin' Up. I'm not even kidding. Um, but I mean, I feel like that goes without saying, just look at those. Those are adorable samples. Same with this cutest cows bundle. And for those of you who appreciate punches, I think that that's what this page is all about. Two bundles with punches, really adorable themes in a different style of art, but look at how much there is to work with, with both of these bundles. So with this one, um, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five greetings. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven on this one. The little things you do make such a big difference. Holy cow. Uh, milk it for all it's worth. Thank you. Um, what, what's moo with you? That's adorable. Um, it's your special day. And then these are a little bit more, I would say, you know, on the basic side. So happy birthday, you are sublime, um, <laughs> floating by just to say hi, sending oceans of love and hello. So it could, you know, go with this theme, but of course you could use that happy birthday on just about everything. I mean, everything. So I feel like that's very versatile in terms of what the, the, the words are there. These can be like, you know, congratulations can be, but everything else seems to be specific to the cow bundle. And then we did rock and roll so we can go past that. Um, I mean, it's worth mentioning again, isn't it? Should we all just get it? I feel like we should all just get it. Um, this is going to make a really fabulous card class. Trusty tools bundle. Uh, here is cap and gown. So if you have anybody who is graduating, there you go. That is great imagery for that. And for anybody who likes to color with blends and we have the um, natural tones, that's what is being displayed with this stamp set here. And then here we have beach day bundle. Does that make you want to go on vacation? 
<laughs> makes me want to go sit at the ocean and it's like freezing outside. Um, so here, I think that the dyes on this are really impressive in terms of all of the different dyes that you get. It looks like there's 21 dyes in this bundle. It's so hard to see this small, but I'll see if we can get a better look at it here. This to me is stunning, but I feel like this is specific to people who really enjoy coloring. Um, and if you feel differently about that, please let me know. Um, and Patricia is saying, can you make the cow swirl? Uh, let me see. Can we make it swirl? Let's go back. It looks like it moves. So cutest cow builder. I don't see any note, but maybe it doesn't. I, th I thought with the way that I was looking at it, but I think it's just the tail. I would have to play with that to be able to answer that question, Patricia, but let me, I'm going to hold it up closer for you. Um, if you just want to take a look there and you can let me know what you think. Um, it looks like it does line up with the, you know, the, um, the stamps, but maybe not swirl. Okay. And... I like the way that this image looks, it looks like it moves. Okay. All right. So close by the ocean. That is stunning. Did anybody ever see that movie, Rebecca? That's, that's what that reminds me of where they're up on the cliff. Okay. Poetic expressions. We just talked about, this is also really beautiful. I feel like they've been doing like something like this with each catalog where we have this reflective look, or we have this sort of a style so this one is called Quiet Reflection, and this is a distinctive stamp style, and it is also inspired by a million-dollar sales achiever, Sarah Schuler. And again, disclaimer, less than 1% actually achieved that milestone. Um, and then here is the stippled rose bundle. We did talk about this because it coordinates with the uh, celebration paper. This is inspirational sketches, which is also distinctive. I personally love the distinctive line. It is a very unique type of imagery, very incredibly detailed, a lot of the shading done for us. And just in the same way that I love kits, the reason why I love distinctive is because all of that light, you know, the highlight and the shadow is already built in for us. So for those of us who do want to come in and do some very basic coloring with our blends or, you know, watercolor pencils, all of that shading work has been done for us. And all we have to do is, you know, a lighter and a darker of the shade that we want. And we just follow along with what the artist has already created. That's my favorite thing about distinctive. It's like a guide, you know, we don't have to be an artist. It's done for us. But by the time we're done coloring and making our card, it looks like we were. And I think that that's so cool. Okay, so here, um, just a quick note about machines. So we have our full size stamp and cut and emboss machine and our mini. The thing that I want to say personally about machines is that during celebration, if you've been thinking about building on your collection or building on the tools like the you know, paper trimmer, the new brayer that we have, um, you want to start getting into the stamp and cut and emboss machines. Think about getting them during celebration when you can maximize your rewards or think about the starter kit with tools because this is a great way to start building on your tools or investing and in getting more things like this and you get a better value for it. So that that's my two cents on that. And then here you can get a better look. So they have like an index of all of the bundles that are being offered in this catalog in the back. It starts on page 67. This is like a quick reference guide. And this gives you a much better look at what the dyes are. And so here, like with the beach day bundle, for example, much better look at all of the dyes that you have that are going to help you build your scenes with that particular bundle. So um, this is that one that coordinates with the paper, uh, Be Mine, which I think is just going to be so popular. All the buzz. I know. I can't help myself. Look at the imagery there. I mean, it's like, I don't even need, I don't even need to see anything else. I just need to have that. I just, anytime there's any type of a framed in forest scene, I will be getting it. I didn't get it yet, but I will be. Now let's talk about this set of dies. 
Oh my goodness. Now this is one of those things that I feel like is very easy to miss. And I did miss it actually when we were walking through the catalog. So um, Patricia is saying wiggle the cow head. You might be able to. I bet you you could probably set it up that way. I'll have to play with that when I get that and see if that works. And if you get it, Patricia, let me know if you can make that happen because I'm I'm curious to know myself. Um, so everyday details, look at the dies. So if you like versatile shapes dies, I feel like this is a must. I feel like this is a must have. Um, you can either just do the everyday details dies or you can get the actual combo of the bundle there. And again, I totally missed this, right? So I didn't even see that when I was paging through the front. So it's definitely worth going through the index and you can get a better look. And this one is called Hooray for Surprises Dies. And it goes with the same name bundle. Um, this is where I was talking about like all the details in these dies. I think they are so pretty. This is that neutral set, but back here in the, you know, where they're showing these samples, it's a little bit brighter. It looks a little bit different. This is the notes of nature. And I just think that those are so stunning. I mean, look at this one. That is like so good. Okay. And this, I can't wait to work with these. I have, these are on the way. Um, yeah. And I mean, that pretty much covers it. I think this does a really good job. The wild fern dies. I feel like this does a really good job of showing all of that detail, not only with the stamp set, but also with the dies that you're going to get. Look at the way that that frames those edges. I just think that is so beautiful. Okay. All right. And then that takes us to the back. So if you need to do your quick reference index, you can do that. I am going to mention this um, just briefly. So for those of you who did sign up for my paper share, I did get the order in this morning when the catalog launched. I did put in the order. I did get an order confirmation. So, so far, so good. Um, it's going to cover these eight papers. And I did end up closing my paper share early because I would have to actually fill four more spots if I would want to do another round. So if you want to reach out to me for a paper share, that's totally fine. But I would need four more people um, if I was going to, you know, add more people to the share. So I just closed registration down um, a little bit early so I could get that order in when the catalog went live. Um, my time Eastern, it was like 2 a.m. And I think I got the order in around 2.30. So I am thrilled that I got that done. Um, that is That is always a huge relief to me when I get that order submitted. So... I'm very excited for the paper share and for the add-on class for the share. If you want to reach out to me and you have any questions, if I do get four more people, I'd be happy to do another round of the share. Um, but for now, I did close registration, so you would have to reach out to me individually. But I think that we're pretty much all set unless four more people want to do, you know, a share. Okay. And so back here, you can also see the tools. You can see, a, you know, a much better look at the embellishments, at the ribbon, at the twine. So this catalog has a lot of variety. This was the one that I wanted to mention in terms of packaging, the square pillow boxes. I thought that these were so cool. Um, and then, of course, those um, cards and envelopes really had my attention. The gold foiled flower cards and envelopes. I haven't gotten those yet, but I need to order those because they, they just are speaking to me. Okay. And then that's it. So we've already gone over hosting um, in the catalog. When you get host rewards, you can actually choose from these host items. So these aren't items that can be purchased. They can only be earned as a host and it's called Carnival Treats. Um, and that is a seven cling stamp set there. And then we already talked about the joint offer. So if you have any, off, you know, any questions about that, you can let me know. But they always put it in the catalog and the brochure. Uh, paper pumpkin. So let me talk about this for just a minute. Uh, what you're seeing here in the catalog is a look at the next three months worth of kits. So this is January's kit. This is going to be called Lovely Lavender. This is the one that's going to coordinate with Perennial Lavender. This one... Uh, this goes out January. So you have until January 10th to subscribe. This is a February kit. 
This one is going to be spring and Easter theme. Okay. And then this is March's kit, which is the birthday month for Paper Pumpkin. And they usually always have a bonus stamp set in there. And they're letting us know, yep, there's going to be a bonus stamp set in there. So if you're looking at these three kits and you're loving these themes, I would recommend, again, just like the tools, prepaid codes are ideal during celebration. Three, six, or 12 months, just depending on how many paper pumpkin kits you know you like to get in a year, or if you're loving seeing the preview of the next three kits, you're still getting them monthly. So January, February, March. But let me tell you what I love about this. Number one, you could get the three-month prepaid code and you could get your celebration item. But you can also plan to get your product that's going to coordinate with these if you're an alternates person like me. Remember, these are standalone kits, but if you want to add to it like I like to, then you can get that product now and you don't have to wait. You can get your celebration rewards and you're going to be good to go. You're going to be ready when that kit shows up. And that's, I'm all about that. So I was thrilled about that. Okay. So let me, I'm going to come back on screen here for just a second. Oh, here, look, I have my flyer right here for celebration. I totally forgot. Okay. So um, again, January, lovely lavender. February is called sweet springtime. March is called memorable meadows. Um, there is also a set of dyes, an add-on set of dyes that is available right now. I just used it with cards that I was making with meandering meadow um, just the other day. So the add-on dyes, um, if you want the information on that, I can give that to you. I actually have that saved on here from before. Um, so if you're interested in, in the love of spring add-on dies, these are going to coordinate with the next three months of kits as well, but this one's going to be good for just about everything all year round. Um, love is ideal at this time of year. So just something to note for that. Okay. Um, and if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate. Let me know. And let me see if I can come back on screen. Okay, so I'm going to do um, just a brief review with you. Look at this gigantic light. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. <laughs> move that. It's like literally right on my shoulder. Um, and my battery is charging on the computer finally. So I'm like, I'm trying not to touch it too much. So here's what I want to just review with all of you that I went over at the beginning as well. Okay, so um, the January host code information is right here. Okay, so use that host code when you shop with me in the online store in January, and then I will send you a free embellishment in February. That's just as a thank you from me. In addition, um, you, you know, if you spend 50, you're going to earn your celebration rewards in January and February as well. Okay, so that's that part of it. Um, this today, let's see if I still have this. What we were going over was the January to April 2024 mini catalog walkthrough and the celebration brochure walkthrough. Um, I, sometimes I can forget that new people are here. I'm used to talking about this because I've been through several celebrations now, but sometimes it's just brand new. And that's why I like to try to go over everything and just explain everything at least once so that you have the information. If you are new here or to me, my name is Melinda Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I will be posting the full replay to YouTube right after this is over. I will also be posting this up on the blog. Um, if you ever have any questions, you can either go to the blog or you can email me. Um, and you can email me here if you ever have any questions. So if you have any questions about celebration, about the catalog launch, about kit collection products, about hosting, about joining, I'm happy to talk to you about all of that. And then one thing that I did want to shout out is whenever we are sharing catalog imagery with you, it is always um, images or copyright stamping up on these pages as we're going through all of that with you. So I just wanted to shout that out too. Okay, so we did it. Um, we're going to wrap it up here at about an hour and 20 minutes, which seems to be my average. And let me say I have another comment here. Um, Panda kit looks cute. It, it, it's adorable. I think it is absolutely adorable. I actually love them both. I know they're very different, but I love them both. So let's see if I can go back to 
the screen right here. So um, this is something that I showed at the beginning of the video too. So I'll just, you know, show this one more time. These are the two kits that were released from Kits Collection today, uh, Panda Friends or Rock legend. These are very adorable, very, looks very easy to make cards. I think I'm actually going to be getting both of these myself. I haven't ordered them yet, but I've been eyeballing them ever since they were released this morning. Um, but I just think that they are so cute too. And I think Connor, I mean, this is just for me, but we, we do this when we're shopping for ourselves and we're shopping with who we're going to be making our projects for or with, we always think of that person and it just, those pandas are talking to me. Um, I think that he would really like punching those out. So anyway, I want to thank all of you for being here with me, hanging out with me today. It is always such a joy to launch a catalog, go through the products. I love hearing from you and what your favorite things are and what you're shopping. Um, I love hearing, you know, what was your favorite free like celebration reward product? Um, have you started using anything yet? So just depending on if you're a demonstrator and you already have it, if you're a customer and you're sh shopping this today, I would love to know. I would love to hear from you. The feedback is always so helpful and just something that I do want to share. So whether you're watching on my Facebook page, the Stamping with Heart Business Facebook page, or whether you are watching the replay on YouTube, any engagement is helpful. Meaning if you like, if you comment, if you share, and I mean, you don't have to do all of these things, but when you leave a comment, um, when you do share the video, it helps get the video out to other people. Um, so if you like, follow, share, subscribe, any of those things, it goes such a long way and it lets Facebook and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying what you see and it will recommend it to more people. So I always appreciate that too. It means so much um, in terms of just getting the word out and getting the channel out there. So um, if you guys, if there's anything specific that you would like to see from this catalog or from the kits collection, let me know. Um, I do an alternate every month for Paper Pumpkin. We will, it will be no exception in January, I promise you. Um, but if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, let me know. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. I'll get the replay posted and I will see you again soon, hopefully tomorrow with a lot of product. Okay. Have a great night. Bye-bye.